Long Your Steak here back and better than ever with a new review. It's been a little bit, but it's time to get this new season started. And with a little bit of earnest here. First, first subject matter of the day is the Worker Cheetah. This is a single shot, spring powered, rival firing pistol that is a front load rear prime configuration. And I actually got this thing for just over $15 through AK Blaster Mod. I'll put a link in the description of the video, of course, if by the end of it you decide that you want to purchase your own, which, I mean, you really should. Spoiler alert. But it is pretty much a worker uh, competitor to the Nerf Rival Knockout, just in a much more traditional and simplified form factor. Being that, well, it is front load, rear prime, spring powered, with a very large plunger tube and, of course, a very awesome see-through shell with all that dart storage as you can hear whiskers my shop buddy running around but you have all this start dart storage here and it makes it be a pretty handy little pistol and if you just use it in a stock configuration you end up getting a uh, performance using genuine nerf rival rounds that's what i have loaded into it it comes with six of workers own but i use nerf rival a genuine rounds for testing purposes so that everybody can get a good baseline. I'll load one in the front. There is a pretty nice hop-up tab. Pull the prime and <laughs> uh, he took off. But in my dart catcher over there, it, it hits with a nice solid thud and putting it over the Corona Raff, you end up getting a mid-90 average. At least I did with Nerf Rival. Other brands may, of course, vary because it is all down to the quality control on the actual ammo itself. But with Nerf Rival, I was actually getting in the mid-90s. So, decent competitor to the Knockout's performance. Not much more expensive. And, of course, these shells are much better. I'm going to do a direct comparison, even though I'm kind of throwing out lots of stuff here in this video. But, the... Uh, the Cheetah, it already is setting a basis for modding. I mean, they already have a 12 kilogram spring you can drop in, which I will. They already have a short dart conversion kit. And foregoing the parts you order, this thing is a platform that would be easy to tinker with yourself. And that is obviously the intention. So I'm going to show you something right now. Whether it comes through on camera or not, I do I do see it through my viewfinder there. The uh, Pistol grip has two dart storage places, as I'll show you here. It actually has dart storage in the pistol grip. So they obviously are priming this to be a platform rather than just you buy it as it is, use it as it is. I mean, it's worker. They make their name based off of mod parts. So dart storage is already in the grip, and because of that, that tells you this thing's meant to be more than just a front loader for rival rounds but but as it is it's a solid competitor to what's out there currently on the market with a bigger plunger tube obviously this thing's going to be able to accept various springs workers not going to have backed themselves into a corner to where they can only sell you know limited springs for it uh, i haven't had this one apart yet i've just been testing it as it is but I would venture to say that cut down long shot springs look like they could fit here. Completely conjecture and just guessing on my part here. But it looks like long shot springs would fit this. But I mean the worker cheetah for 15, I think they're selling it right now for 1550 on their website, of course, plus shipping, but for fifteen dollars and change, I don't see how you could go wrong with this. I look at it as a platform. I'm a, I'm going to buy at least two more. But I could see this being fun to work with because the shell is the shell is of course impeccable compared to what's available on store shelves in including even my Nexus Pro and my Aeon Pro. No, I haven't done a Nexus Pro video, but I do have one. Including compared to those, this is of course noticeably better. And it's just due to the grade of the plastic used, the thickness, the actual grade of material as well when they mold it it is there is varying grades of plastic if you're not aware but already made 
storage on, on board, so you can have 5 plus 1 already on board storage for darts. Already ready to be upgraded and modded and more potential gotten out of it. Picatinny rail up on top. It's got a built-in safety that nobody's ever going to use. But it looks good too. Feels good. Construction quality is great. And the pricing is reasonable. I mean, yes, it's somebody who's out there going to say, oh, it's $5 more than a knockout. Yes. <laughs> and it's a significantly better built pistol. And I, that's coming from somebody who loves a knockout. But I really can't find fault in it. The performance as stock is not overly impressive. You know, mid-90s is nothing, nothing shocking. That's a little better than the knockout. A little worse than full-size rival, but it's going to be upgraded. I'm probably buying this more to convert it to single short dart usage. So, with, with maybe a sliding breach and a scar. That's my, that's my thoughts. But, something, even if you were going to use it as it is, it's $15 and change. So, my recommendation would be, don't just get one, get two. Maybe leave one stock and then mod the other one however you feel. But it's the Worker Cheetah. It's rear prime, front load, rival pistol. I mean, it's got a, it's got a decent little punch for a single shot pistol, but it's also a platform. Platform for you to use basically like a blank canvas. I would love to see somebody, I, would, I might do this myself. I like to do a soap mask on it. Let the clear shell show through the soap masking and put something like a, a vibrant green over this because you can see all the translucent internal orange parts. And then I can see like some really vibrant green over it. So you have that green orange clear look and then put some LEDs instead of the dart storage. Use that for like a battery pack and put a little button here on the bottom. Just throwing out thoughts. But that's what this is for. It's meant to be, you get this, sure it's usable as it is, but you could certainly do a whole lot more with this, and I, I think this is going to be either it's flown under the radar so far, or I've actually gotten my hands on it early. But I think this thing could be a, a fun, a fun uh, 2021 modding platform, much like the Knockout has been since it's been out. But Worker Cheetah, I absolutely recommend the thing. It's it's hard to go wrong at this price range with good quality and definitely a lot of potential here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this.